everyone welcome to the update of 5th of july a crazy strange day i still need to digest it lot of things which did not make any sense to me let's first start with the sbi hdfc bank and yes bank fiasco let me first take you to some data yes bank whether you go through one day data five day data one month data or six month data it actually has gone nowhere in the last six months sbi also has not moved too much in at least the last two three months HDFC bank has improved a bit of late but it has come crashing down in two days time perhaps losing the confidence of investors yet again for some months some years today the trigger was what i mentioned in yesterday's update HDFC's data did not look good at all however people did not understand it completely the sales and profit will increase only the net interest margins or the profitability rate may actually reduce for HDFC bank and that is not just HDFC bank all banks will go through this phenomena i've been saying this for several weeks and months now that this quarter's results will not be good so what hdfc did yesterday is just confirm what i've been saying for all this time now the news of sbi selling yes bank's stake yes bank went up sbi went up does not make any sense to me the yes bank part is already there on sbi's balance sheet under investments it is worth i think around 22000 crores so you take 22000 crores out of this bucket and convert it to cash if you actually see it from sbi's perspective they grew 30% in terms of investments in the last one year march 2023 to 2024 they are selling something which is not fully appreciated if they are doing it now when yes bank has not grown up too much then it's a desperate sale they need cash desperately so that cannot mean the stock going up today at all why is yes bank dancing sbi will become some foreign player there is no net capital being infused into yes bank their casa is not improving their interest margins are not improving what is this move today about i could not understand it for sbi in fact i feel this is actually a bad news because they will go through what hdfc has gone through today for sure on top of that they have to monetize assets at this stage they have to sell family silver think of it like that the di data fi data not much interest from dis they are actually net sellers but dis did not react violently to the news flow at all fi is also did not do much they bought a bit i will actually want to see the options data for fi is today that will show huge shorting probably a few reaffirmations i said this part yesterday softly i didn't want to create any panic but this played out i had mentioned that i need to go through it if nims will get lower today hdfc tanked 5% there was a headline news today banks continue to struggle with slow growth in deposits in june quarter so this is again a confirmation of what i have been saying all the time last few weeks and months today there was a tweet from the defense minister that defense pack is doing very well he talked about a 16.8% higher production compared to the previous financial year 16.8% growth for the sector cannot justify a 50p at all in my opinion this is exactly what i said yesterday i just refreshed the fidi data also nifty managed to close a little in green towards the end i'll show you the graphs bank nifty deserved to be lot worse it was not it did not go anywhere energy was up a lot primarily because reliance shot up a lot towards the end and ongc was up a lot throughout the day next 50 was up defense was up a little the three noticeable companies today were reliance hdfc bank and sbi gold up a bit silver up bitcoin down another 3% rupee stable brent cool down a bit so one thing which probably happened today was that people were so upset with hdfc that they dumped the stock in cash and moved to sbi and towards and towards other solid companies like reliance also which they feel are at least better than hdfc it was venting out by public on hdfc to a large extent because many investors had been sulking for 4 years they were suddenly happy and in 2 days they saw the stock plummet by nearly 8% this is not going to leave the investor community happy at all the long term investors now in my books the sectors which are becoming very difficult to invest are all the top sectors including banking oil and gas defense auto as well as it it doesn't leave much to invest in 
and yet I have invested a lot of money in the past two or three days, including in HDFC. Today, I'll just briefly show you certain specific spikes in the graphs. Reliance was stable a whole day, but jumped in the last 20 minutes. ICIC same, jumped in the last 20 minutes after going literally nowhere. Infosys was actually down and then it suddenly showed buying. TCS was choppy. Towards end, it suddenly saw buying. HDFC Bank recovered a little only towards the end. SBI went up continuously without any pause. That is primarily because out of the top three banks, one was sinking, the other was due for a correction and the third SBI people feel still has value left into it. C Nifty, vertical bar in literally two or three minutes. Same with Bank Nifty. These last minute rallies on Friday are actually surprising to me. This is when people should be booking profits and being on cash for Monday. Here people are taking long positions. IT showed a bit of recovery towards the end. Otherwise, it was very much down in the dumps today. Wipro, after the fall yesterday, was up. TCS, Infosys, all of these stocks actually recovered towards the end. Volumes were shallow. Many FIs are probably on a long weekend. The power producers were up half percent. NTPC, Power Grid, both were up. Reliance Industries picked up towards the end. ONGC was up nearly the whole day. The oil sector was up 2.1%. Volumes also were good for most stocks. Even Reliance volumes improved a bit today. I have retained yesterday's chart just for contrast. This is yesterday. See HDFC, it was here. Today suddenly it has jumped two notches down. Two days back, it was here. This is the sharp movement in HDFC. And I told you yesterday that this particular bar is not very big. The 52 week low high for HDFC. ICICI is still in the top. Now you will know why I was yesterday saying these two might change positions sooner than later. Yesterday, both of these P ratios were similar. Suddenly you see ICICI is 1% higher than HDFC. Aerospace and defense, no signs of tiring at all. The top boys all continued the run up, but no upper circuit today. Market breadth actually was good today. 27 sectors were up led by oil and gas, oil and gas related equipment, construction and engineering, personal and household, food and tobacco, aerospace and defense, all of them are up. No surprises, banking was dragging the indices down. If I sort by market cap, only banking was down, everything else was up a lot. This is surprising because volumes were not very high, neither FII nor DII, even the stock volumes are not very high. Automobiles, there was profit booking in Tata Motors and Mahindra and Mahindra. Bajaj Auto launched a new concept bike, so they were up 2%. Whole India up. Construction engineering, RVNL was up 17%. The volumes were phenomenal for most stocks in this space. This is people getting ready for the budget perhaps. Trend only goes up. The food and tobacco pack was on fire today. The sector was up 1%. This is a defensive sector. Whenever there is turmoil or uncertainty, this sector typically goes up. Insurance, the entire sector was up today. This is perhaps getting ready for the results because most companies renew their insurance policies in Q1. So this is usually a good quarter. Investment banking up. Heavy machinery, the winner today was CG Power. The sector was up 1.5%. Metals and mining were up yet again. Pharma was up a lot, more than 1%. Nifty 50, right now I have sorted by market cap. Volumes were high for HDFC, ICICI, ONGC, Titan, Bajaj Auto and Icher Motors. Otherwise, average to low volumes. 14 stocks down, 35 up. Next 50, 13 stocks down, 37 up. What was down? Bajaj Holdings, Adani Energies, Madarsan Sumi, Adani Greens, DLF. What was up? TVS, Zydas, BEL, ICICI Lombard, IRCTC. LIC, IOC, BEL had good volumes. My trades, I. Continued buying Coal India, Fusion Microfinance, Asian Paints. This nearly completes the restructuring of the long-term portfolio now. I sold off BPCL, HPCL, both of them in minor losses. The bonus theory did not work at all this time. In all three cases, Motila Roswal, a little profit. BPCL, HPCL, a little loss. Persistent, I mentioned yesterday, so I reduced the positions today a bit. My trading calendar, while I'm showing green in both options and cash, I've already showed you a deep red on Monday. I'll show you why. So the day started well, Nifty profit of 4,000. ICICI Bank profit of 11,000, 15,870. At that time, I saw HDFC tanking and SBI also showing a blip. At the same time, ICICI was also going down. 
so i thought it's probably time for profit booking so i took some short positions in sbi all these are unclosed positions if SBI does not fall on Monday, this would perhaps be one of the biggest losses of this financial year and erase all gains till now. Prime reason is SBI was relentless today, went up and up and up. All resistance zones were bombarded. For example, 850 was a strong resistance that was broken. Then 855 was broken. All these are like pack of cards. No one cared. There was just relentless buying. I think in cash because in FNO typically people don't carry positions over the weekend and there is definitely some sort of profit booking at some point of time. So unless there is some sanity that returns and people realize that SBI is no better than HDFC for the reason HDFC is down 5% today, SBI may actually continue the run up and may go up another 1 or 2% on Monday. So this was a so it was a disappointing end for the week in general because for the entire week I was disciplined towards end. I averaged lower. I didn't keep stop loss. I didn't hedge the positions. It was a reckless trade. Couldn't have happened. But let's see what happens on Monday. Rethink on your strategy over the weekend. Which sectors you prefer? Where would you want to buy or exit? It is getting important in terms of timing to get your conviction right. Have a nice weekend. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on Monday.